Hello? Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, yeah. How's it going right from left? Uh, pretty good, pretty good, man. Uh, how you doing right now? What are you doing right now, man? I'm right at home and uh, just taking care of some household tasks. Oh, uh, okay, man. I'm just going to let you know, man. There's a like, hardcore-ass situation here downtown, bro. I think someone just robbed the bank. Got about, like, 10 square blocks of the, of the 10 square blocks shut down and everything right now. Oh, damn. We do begin with breaking news. A bank robbery in downtown El Paso. Federal and local law enforcement agents are surrounding the Wells Fargo building and several other buildings in downtown El Paso. ABC 7's Manuel Esparza joins us live from the scene. Emmanuel, what have you learned so far? Stephanie, good afternoon. I'm standing right outside of Bad Wells Fargo in downtown. And other than it happened around 2 p.m. this afternoon, we know little information from police. However, I did get to speak to witnesses, and according to them, whoever is responsible for this robbery fled the bank and then barricaded in a different building around town. Now, take a look at the video on your screens. You will see the El Paso police forming a perimeter along with SWAT and FBI teams. We have police scanning the area as they search for their subject. ABC7 is working to find out how many robbers were involved, if they were armed, and if any money was stolen. I spoke to a man that was taking his lunch break downtown as the scene unfolded. Notice there happened to be um, quite a bit of police at one particular building as I was walking down the street. And as I got closer, uh, the situation ended up getting a little bit more live. Uh, I saw police kind of coming out from everywhere, crawling from everywhere. I mean, the minivan turned into a police car, so. Now, El Paso County Sheriff's Office and as well as constables were present at the scene. Now, as you can see behind me, this is Stanton Street. And a minute ago, the access was being blocked. Now, traffic, you can see, is going through and the presence of law enforcement is not as much. But, however, ABC7 will keep you updated as we learn more. For now, reporting live from downtown El Paso, Emanuel Esparza, ABC7. All right, Emanuel, thank you. And remember, you can have breaking news alerts sent directly to your phone by downloading the KVIA News app. You can get it today from the App Store or... Oh, uh, okay, man. I'm just going to let you know, man. There's a like, hardcore-ass situation here downtown, bro. I think someone just robbed the bank. Got about, like, 10 square blocks of the, of the... 10 square blocks shut down and everything right now. Oh, damn. Yeah, but I try to... I mean... Like, I, I tried to sit outside the table, and these fuckers just kept pushing me back, and then they just kept increasing the perimeter and shit. So I was just like, holy shit. I just thought maybe if you were close, we'd swing by and shit, get another angle, because I can't go south no more. They didn't close the whole, like, five, six blocks already. Yeah, man, I wish I could be there, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm nah, all up in the Far East, so. Yeah, no, man, I just thought maybe if you were in the in the vicinity or something. But, yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty hectic down here, bro. They got SWAT, marshals fucking troopers everything down here damn yeah i don't yeah, usually I come to uh you know your part of town so I'm, I'm really glad that you started recording because uh honestly i i mean i go to el paso every once in a while but not not nearly excuse me um i can't get nearly as much video as you can for your part yeah. of town because i mean i live all the way here in the far east so yeah no nah, man i'll just Maybe I'm not a chance that you were in the neighborhood or something, bro. No, no, I'm not, I'm usually not in El Paso. Usually I'm over here in the uh, Horizon, Socorro, or if I am in El Paso, I'm in, like, far east El Paso, like, you know, like around 375 on the east side. Yeah, Joe Battle and all that. Yeah, yeah. All right, bro, yeah, i just letting you know, bro, because apparently someone robbed the bank, the Wells Fargo bank here down, downtown, and they can't catch the guy. And I think he's holding himself up in one of the buildings nearby. Damn. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. that'll be on the news tonight. Oh, yeah, they got these motherfucking SWAT members up already on the roof and everything, bro. This is fucking crazy. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the law enforcement's always ready for everything. Like, no matter how intense it gets, they've got a plan. So, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, no, they're, they're fucking suited and booted. <laughs> I just yeah. thought maybe I'm not trying to do it here, but I'd let you know, man. Just to keep you oh, no, I'm, glad you called. I'm glad you called for sure because, um, you know, whatever video you can get, you know, I'll, if you put it on your uh, channel, I can try to build it into something. And then also uh, whatever news gets out there, I can still try to build that into something. So 
even what you might think and what you might take for granted as being like, you know, just just some video that might not be anything. Go oh, yeah, no, there's, I mean, yeah, I just, I mean, it's just literally, I got here like maybe 10 minutes ago and I was literally on my way to do an, an audit at the post office, like literally right there. And then, oh, they just started closing off all these streets. So I've been walking for like 10 minutes trying to ask questions and yeah, apparently some guy robbed the bank and shit. So that's what's going on right now. Yeah, man, I get off the phone with me and, and just walk around and take as much video as you can. Even stuff that might be from like a real far distance, even just, you know, a bunch of police officers standing around uh, in their, you know, SWAT gear or even regular police just, you know, yeah. standing at their cars. I mean, whatever you can get, put it up on your channel and I'm sure I can work with it. No matter what you think, think about it, I'm sure I could build it into something. And then also, um, you know, whatever news comes out, I'll build that into it. Um, trust me, just get all the video you can, man, and uh, it'll be worth something. All right, brother. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna fucking yeah, I gotta stop recording right now because they're literally coming up to me right now, bro. All right, yeah, let me talk to you later. Bye. 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 Breaking news as we continue our complete coverage of a bank robbery investigation in downtown El Paso. The investigation is taking place at the Wells Fargo Bank building at the intersection of Texas and, and Kansas streets. The area has been cordoned off by authorities and that is where we find ABC 7's Emanuel Esparza who's been at the scene since 2 o'clock this afternoon. Emanuel, what have you learned about the investigation? Stephanie, I'm standing right now outside of that Wells Fargo in downtown and right at the entrance you can still see El Paso police present at the scene in a robbery scene that has to be slowly clearing up. This video is from earlier when the scene was more active and law enforcement was scanning the perimeter. Residents of the area told us even access to some establishments like Classico Bistro and Cafe and the Electric City building were blocked. ABC is working to find out how many robbers were involved, if they were armed, and if they were able to take any money with them. According to witnesses, police were surrounding a building in which the robbers had barricaded. I spoke to a man that saw the scene develop and who happens to work inside a different bank in downtown and tells me how this situation makes him feel. It is kind of scary, but it's something that I feel like you got to kind of prepare for. You may not always be right. You can't always prepare for things like this, but just making sure you stay calm in the moment. I think that's the best solution, you know, so you don't make any mistakes. And as you said, that robbery happened at 2 p.m. and traffic was blocked off on several streets here near that Wells Fargo in downtown. But as you can see behind me, that flowing traffic has been restored in all of them. And we're going to be getting you some updates later today as we find out more information about this robbery. For now, reporting live from downtown El Paso, Emanuel Esparza, ABC7. All right, Emanuel. And remember, it is easy to get breaking news alerts sent directly to your phone. Just download the KVI8 News app. You can get it today from the App Store or Google Play.